We are officially on the doorstep of winter here in Maine. The first light snow has already happened. Now there's one more important project I want to get done before it gets too cold and the ground freezes. And that is digging a large drainage trench all around the clearing where my home is. This is important because in the last spring runoff, my house got really beat up and my driveway as well, but with water running down the slope of my land and sitting in front of my home and running down my driveway. So because my land is sloped, the solution to this problem is just to dig about a two foot dra deep drainage trench above where the clearing is. And then when the water comes down the slope, it'll hit that drainage ditch and re be redirected around where my home and my driveway is and keep, it'll keep things a lot drier. I mean, it's a real mess right now even, and it was just a few heavy days of rain. So the spring runoff will be even much worse. That's why it's critically important that this happens now. Fortunately, I have a mini excavator now to help me with the work. Now, since the drainage ditch runs through the woods, the first step is gonna be clearing about a 10 foot wide path where the drainage ditch is gonna go so that the mini excavator can get in there and do its work. Yesterday, I cleared about the first third of the space for the trench I'm gonna dig. It was a long, hard day of work that ended with me screwing up and accidentally dropping a tree on top of my mini excavator. Fortunately, the tree was small and the mini's pretty tough, so I think there was no damage. It's time to start digging the trench, but the problem is I've never done a trench like this before and I'm feeling like I'm gonna screw it up if I don't have some help. Fortunately, my friend who helped do the excavation for my driveway in my home has agreed to come out and get the trench started for me so I can see how it's done. Before he gets here, I want to try to clear out a few of these stumps along the trail. With the help of my friend, we got done maybe about a third of the trenching yesterday. Plus, I got to see him work and I now have a much better idea of how to do it. I'm sure I won't work anywhere near as efficiently as he has since he has 30 years of experience, but I think I'll be able to fumble along and get better as I go. As you can see, the weather conditions are much worse today, but I gotta keep going. It's not gonna be too much longer before the ground freezes so much that I'm not even gonna be able to dig. The process will be more of the same clearing a section of trees so the mini can get in there, and then digging the trench. Anybody who's known me a while would certainly say that what I'm doing now is a titanic shift from what I was involved in a year and a half ago. And I've been thinking about the mechanics of that shift. What was it that got me from living in a comfy condo in Portland, Oregon out here digging in the woods. 
And so far I've come up with three kind of phases that it took to get me here. The first one is just having the idea, or maybe call it the inspiration. And the thing about ideas is that they're, they're cheap. They're just brain cycles. I mean, I have a dozen ideas a day. I could put my attention on any, any one of them. At the same time, you can't really do anything new until you first have an idea to do it. So that was certainly the first phase. The second phase was making a decision was actually turning the idea over in my mind and saying yes to the idea. I'm going to do something about this. I'm going to make it happen in the real world. And decisions, I wouldn't call them cheap, but they're, they're instantaneous. That's the thing about decisions that has always blown my mind is there's the moment before you've decided where nothing's happened, and then the moment after you've decided, and it's over. The last piece is the commitment. And this one is the fuzziest to me because I can't really explain to myself what it is that makes me commit after I've had an idea and after I've decided to do it. I mean, I might have an idea and then decide to do it and 10 minutes later, I've redecided it's not a good idea and I'm done. Or I might be out digging in the woods a year and a half later and have my life completely transformed. It's pretty crazy. After several more days of digging with the Mini, I'm happy to report that the trenching is now complete. This is a huge relief for me. I really was concerned that the ground was going to freeze up before I could finish. Now the goal of this trench is to catch water as it comes down my sloped land before it gets to my home. I'm pretty sure this is going to work. I can already see some water getting caught in the trench and running off just from recent rains. I won't really know if this is going to work well until the heavy spring runoff, but I'm hopeful. The trenching work is not professional for sure. The bottom of it is a little, a little slopey, a little bumpy, but uh, it's pretty good. I mean, it seems to be functioning and I really can't do any better. I'm still practicing with the mini. So I'm gonna cross my fingers and hope that when the spring runoff comes, this trench provides the protection I'm hoping it will.